The brain is the most powerful weapon in the world. But once you figure out your brain, you become unstoppable to almost anything. Your brain is amazing. Once you feed it the right conversation, the right mental nutrients, the right mental supplements, the right internal dialogue at the right time, with the right hit, with the right proof of what you've done in the past, and you send it right to the right circuit, dude, you're a fucking beast. You put so much practice into you that you can ignore every one of them that are telling you you're not gonna fucking make it and still be able to fucking make it because you have put the practice in that you know this is the process. It's such a daunting task that all the voices are saying no, but you still have the conviction that I know I can do this. When you put that practice in every day, you lace them up, and I don't mean run, it's just a metaphor for life. When you lace them motherfuckers up every day, pretty soon you win. If you have the courage and the heart and the dedication and the mindset about everybody can go fuck themselves, pretty soon you'll fucking win. There is no balance. It's a little bit more what it should be for a lot of people, but there'll never be balance because confidence and belief you're building every day. But it's what we've trained ourselves to believe that we need. I think a man should have absolutely no interest in whether he's actually happy or not. If I wake up and I'm unhappy, I will do the exact same things as if I am happy. I will go to the gym the same. I will work the same. How I feel has no impact on how I live my life. I don't think happiness as an index is a healthy view for a man to have on life success. As soon as you stop pushing forward, as soon as you go stagnant, you're dying. Depression is not real. Feeling depressed is real. When you're depressed, you can fail in every human metric. I fail at everything, but I'm depressed. It's not my fault. No, you're a failure. That's all you are because you're not trying very hard. No matter what the worst thing that could possibly happen to me on earth, I will feel sad, but I will recover and I will not become depressed because I don't believe in depression. As you lose, there's no light without dark, right? Mm -hmm, there's, mm -hmm. there's no joy without pain. Of course. For me to be a winner, I need to, there needs to be loser. You don't learn to pick yourself up on your own. A lot of times these fights and these battles, you gotta be your own fucking coach. You gotta be your own motivator. It was the only way for me to move forward. A lot of quitting is just your mind saying, man, we can't do this. Man, we should find a way out. Man, fuck this, this is just too uncomfortable. Whereas if you can just force yourself to push those aside and don't entertain those thoughts at all, you can get through a lot of things you can't get through. You gotta fuel yourself with the fuck ups. And most people get stuck in these patterns because they define themselves as a fuck up. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Write down what you would like to fix about your life. And then just, if you're 30 pounds overweight, you want to lose 30 pounds, do it the right way. Go st start eating vegetables, monitor your calories, write down what you eat, exercise every day, force yourself to do it. Say you're the a general, the brain is the general, the troops are the body, the troops don't want to listen, but you go, fuck you, you listen. And you get up and you do it. They're no fun. All the time you're complaining, you could be instead hustling. You could be instead chasing your dream. You could be instead figuring out what you're doing wrong, trying to improve certain aspects of your life, getting your shit together, reading a book, meditating, something. But what is necessary is you have to build a person that can withstand the pressures of whatever they're going to be dealing with in life. But be tough. You better have a part about you that's tough, a part about you that can and break down situations very quickly within some trauma in your life, some devastation in your life, because it's going to come and move forward. That takes a lot of toughness. Hard times create hard men. Hard men create soft times. Soft times create soft men. Soft men create hard times. We are now around soft men and hard times. You can't be weak. You should be a monster. You should be ruthlessly ambitious and then learn how to control it. And it's that old expression. It's better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. Because it doesn't mean that you can't be kind if you're strong. But it does mean you can't be strong if you're weak. So many men say, I want to be the man, but they don't want to suffer. They don't want to fight. And I don't understand why, because even if you look at a superhero movie, they tell you. Even in superhero movies, they make it very clear. Batman's parents died. That's why he's Batman. All the bad things have to happen. There's no way to get there without the bad things. Of course you broke your heart. Of course you're sad. Of course you miss her. She's with me now, that's life. And you decipher it and you work out the best way to deal with it and you internalize the good parts and you become a better and stronger and more resilient person for it. That's part of it.
That's the only way you're going to get to that level of resilience. You can't become the man any other way. As a man, trauma and difficulty is extremely important because it's the building blocks for mental fortitude and physical fortitude. So I'm very, very happy that my life has been difficult because it's impossible to become a capable man or a man of my capability without struggling with facing serious adversities, without trying to overcome often insurmountable odds. So how I do every day is how I do every day. It's a, it's a discipline, it's a regimen, it's a choice I made. And the choice I made was, what are you willing to sacrifice and what are you willing to give up to find every bit of who you are as a human being? And I was willing to give up everything to do that. And so nothing is easy. Like running is running, it sucks, but you have a choice to make. Do you want to sit down and go back to that guy you once were? No, so this is what it takes. It takes that misunderstanding of people and they'll never get it because they were never David Goggins. And this is every day of my fucking life. That's why I'm not trained a fighter or I train someone. I'm like, you have no fucking idea how great you really are because you are using such minimal, minimal of what you have. And if people can learn to focus, to extract greatness from nothing, it takes every bit of who you are if you choose that route. If you don't, Merry Christmas, do what you gotta do. There's no fucking passion, there's no fucking motivation. There's no, oh my God, man, I fucking, this is no. It's every day of your life just doing. No passion. Where's passion when you're 300 pounds? Where's the motivation when you can't read and write? Where is it? So how did this happen? I just fucking did. I just did. I said, maybe at the end of this journey, there'll be something there for me. If not, I can read. If not, I'm 185 fucking pounds. There was, no, there, was, there, was, there was no magic potion. There's no, oh, let me wake up and look at some shit. No, it's all bullshit. Just do. You're living. How do you want to live? How do you want to die? How do you want to fucking be remembered? That's, that's it, period. This is why I say stay hard. Because when you weren't given the gifts, the only thing you can do in life is stay hard. This is all you can do. There's no magic pill or a magic potion. All you can do is outwork because everybody has bad breaks. Yeah. I've had a shit ton of bad breaks. But you know what I did? I, I stayed up. Yeah. And I thought through it. And I, and I figured out what the fuck I did wrong. And then I went back. It's like, I fucked up everything I've ever done a hundred times. There's no, way to other, there's no other way to do it. And I've had a bunch of shitty breaks. Everybody has. But you got to realize when you have those shitty breaks what that is. It's an opportunity for you to reassess, reboot, get better, figure out another way, find another way through. It's just, just little challenges. And that's how you do it. You go and get after it, you don't make any excuses. You gotta stop with all this, I can't catch a break bullshit. All the time you're complaining, you could be instead hustling. You could be instead chasing your dream. You could be instead figuring out what you're doing wrong, trying to improve certain aspects of your life, getting your shit together, reading a book, meditating, something, fucking something. That's something that you have to develop. You develop that over years, decades of suffering and going back into the suffer. But how I grew a will was constantly doing these things to now, it's just life. I wake up while it still sucks, it's just life. You don't sit back and like, oh my God, like I have days I don't wanna do it, but I know I'm gonna do it. Through examining myself, getting some willpower, some courage, it became bigger than this table. But that's what we all do. That's why I wanted to come here today and talk to you about real shit not no fucking like hacks. There's no hacks, bro. It's you against you. You against you. If you're alive, you can get better. Yeah, no matter what, if you're alive, you can shift things. Doing things that are difficult is as much of a nourishment of the mind as uh, food is a nourishment of the body. I think you need things that puzzling to you where you have to find your own human potential in the difficulty of the task and work your way through things. Give yourself something, an arduous, difficult task where you're challenged, challenged mentally and challenged physically. One of the great things about being challenged physically is it's also mental. The people that don't understand that have never really been challenged physically. People that think that physical challenges are just like, just physical. It's just brute grunt work. It's not, it, it's uh, emotional intelligence. It's understanding your desire to quit and uh, conquering your inner bitch. All that stuff is mental. And there's a mental strength that you acquire from that that you can apply to intellectual pursuits. 